Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we come to the climax of the Lenten season, Good Friday. Our Lord died on the cross. Taking the words of Cephas, the high priest of Jesus' time, said to the general Sanhedrin, when they were so much distressed about the fame of Jesus Christ among the Jewish community, he said, it was better a one man dies than the whole human race could be perished. Taking the words of the high priest, they have decreed a plan to arrest and put Jesus to death. From that time on, they were planning to arrest Jesus. It was purely conspired political murder. God the Father sent his Son. The Son was both God and human. Both God and human in his nature. He suffered all the cruel death on the cross in the pure, weak human nature. So he suffered and learned the obedience. It was so excruciating, but still by his obedience, Jesus had accepted to carry out the plan of God. In the decree of a human beings to put to put to put Jesus into death. Jesus, God the Father, had planned to carry out this plan of salvation in the negative decree of the human race. When the human race had planned to put Jesus to death, God the Father had planned to carry out his salvific work in the death of Jesus Christ. By his death, God the Father had achieved giving salvation to the entire creation. The sin needs shedding of blood. The original sin and the human weakness needed shedding of blood. The shedding of blood should be of God's. And that shedding of blood was accomplished in the person of Jesus Christ, by which the ray of shadow of the sins have been washed away from the face of the earth. And the ruling of the Satan was chased away from the face of the earth. The human being had been justified. The human being had been given forgiveness. The human being had been given the place to live happily in this world and in the next world. The new world was opened. For this, the human being must believe the crucified one, declare one's sins, confess one's sins, believe in Christ, get the forgiveness, then one becomes a new man. 
Jesus death for all the creation for all human beings irrespective of caste creed and religion he died for everyone he died in the place of human beings so all the human beings are justified to receive this salvation one has to believe in christ declare the sins get the forgiveness and be healed so it's a call for everyone on this good friday that if anyone wanted to be god's children must declare one sins and get forgiven so let us in a special way pray for everyone so that they may come to the feet of jesus who is exalted on the cross and may have salvation let us pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts especially the gift of salvation you have allowed jesus to shed his blood lord in our place he was crucified in our place he died thank you lord for this expiation of death of jesus christ by his death we have been saved by his death our sins are forgiven by his death we have received the eternal life thank you lord for this gift continue to guide us continually we may have faith so that we may have eternal life We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.